Hello guys, welcome to Security Red vs Booting channel. So in today's video, we discuss on web application hacking. So in this web application hacking, uh, we did, uh, we mainly focus on what is web application and what is a web server, and uh, how web application and web server works, and what are the common vulnerabilities that we come across a web application as well as web server, and what are the countermeasures and uh, threats we which we have come across. We have come across. So we mainly discuss on these topics. So let's get started. So what is a web application? So web application is something, uh, it's like a user interface which can be accessed through a web browser. So if you look at the definition, a web application or a web app is a client server software application which the client runs in a web server, web browser. So web applications are like the, the programs that reside on a web server to give the user functionality beyond just a, a website. So this is what the web application is. And if you look at the web server, a web server is nothing but the, the server where the web, web application is hosted. So it is like a software and a hardware that uses HTTP and other protocols to respond to the client request that is made over the World Wide Web, which we call it as WWW. And the, the, the main job of the web server is to display the content through the storing, processing and delivering the web pages to the users. And besides HTTP, um, web servers also supports uh, other protocols like SMTP, FTP and uh, mainly used for file transfer or email uh, services and as well as the storages. So this is what like uh, the main difference between the web application and the, the web server. If you look at how the web server works, web server mainly uses HTTP, which is a hypertext transfer protocol and the secure one, which is HTTPS to allow the web based clients to connect to them and to uh, access the services that web server provides, which can be uh, viewing the file, um, uploading or downloading the files. It could be any other stuff. And here the HTML language is the main language which is used to create the web pages and allow these pages to be rendered to in the web browser software. And if you look at the process, how it uh, basically works uh, in a typical scenario, the web client um, uh, usually initiates a connection uh, towards the web server using an IP and port. So usually in this case, uh, the, the there won't be a web IP always. Usually it will be a domain uh, URL that will be later converted into an IP at the web server side. Um, uh, so it will be uh, so initially the web client uh, sends a connection towards uh, the web server using IP and port. So the, the default port is uh, 80, which is always. And then once the web server uh, gets the connection, once the connection is established, now web server waits for the uh, uh, get request from the web client. It need not be get uh, get request. Sometimes it will be post request as well. So it depends on the uh, the, the methods that is uh, configured at uh, the application side. So the what what happens once the connection is established, the web server waits for a get request from the web client. Uh, so once the get request is received, uh, this, this get request is mainly for the home page of the website. Now the web server responds with an HTML code, and which contains the home page. Now the client or the client browser will process that HTML code and displays the web page on the client's device. So this is uh, uh, the, the basic scenario of uh, um, retrieving the information from the web server box. If you look at how um, the web application works, uh, so web application is like uh, it, it mainly uses the client or server architecture with the uh, with the web browser as the client and the web server acting as the application server. So here, uh, the JavaScript is the popular way to implement the web applications because like uh, the web applications are widely implemented and any user with the web browser. Uh, can interact uh, with uh, most of the site utilities and HTML is the the language used to create the web pages and and these uh, pages allow, and allow these pages to be rendered in a web browser software on the web clients now uh, if you look at the common uh, vulnerabilities that we uh, come across web server uh, it's like mainly the misconfiguration of the web server because the common issue with the using the Microsoft uh, internet information server is as a web server is to use the default website and so most of the cases that the default uh, settings being used and that is one uh, the, the common loophole that we come across in nowadays as well and the second one is like vulnerable default installation so most of the times like uh, it could be in, uh, the packages at the operating system or a web server uh, software settings um, will be using the default configurations and uh, that should be uh, removed uh, once the installation is uh, finished it should be renamed to something else uh, or maybe the customized depends on the uh, the customer uh, requirement so this should uh, this should not be left as uh, with, the, with the default details so this is one of the uh, the common things that we uh, notice in nowadays and and the operating system or it could be uh, the bugs from the application itself which could lead to uh, zero day attacks 
and uh, other flaws in the programming code so these are the main uh, things which we look at the web server vulnerabilities mainly the misconfiguration and using the default stuff uh, without changing it post the the implementation is live so yeah this is the main things which need to be taken care and if you look at uh, like how to harden these kind of stuff uh the some of the things it can be like uh, uh disabling the remote administration or enabling the auditing and logging to ensure like uh, the things are properly captured uh, about the system activity and you're using the uh, the post method instead of get method and sending the data to web server and using a firewall between a web server and an internet to allow only the necessary ports uh, such as 80 and 443 through the firewall or it could be any other customized ports and performing the bounce checking on the input or web forms and uh, the string queries to prevent the buffer overflow or malicious uh, input attacks and also the disable the directory browsing in the web server configuration so this uh, this uh, usually we see in like a uh, directory traversal attacks because of this which is uh, not disable the di directory traversal and also like uh, remove uh, mainly to remove the unnecessary uh, un uh, used applications from the server such as like web dev unnecessary applications can be uh, removed on a server by using add or remove programs in the windows control panel uh, where this mainly we see like when there is a migration is happening from old system to new system most of the services will not be removed uh, and, uh, even though if they are not in use so this uh, this needs to be taken care at high level and also the re renaming the administrator account instead of using the default uh, names uh, changing it with a different unique uh, um, custom requirement name and also using the strong password uh, following the pass, uh, strong password policy and to rename the administrator account in the window so um, follow the settings that we uh, get in the google uh, and also uh, yeah these are these are the main things uh, which can be used to harden uh, the application and so that uh, uh, the, the impact can be limited we cannot say 100 percent uh, secure but uh, the impact can be uh, limited to the major extent so these are the um, the, the the main hardening methods that we need one one should take care uh, at the web server level now uh, when it comes to web application um so there are like many web applications threats exist in the web server the most common ones are like cross site scripting or cross site request forgery or uh, um the injection attacks or directory traversal attacks so these are the uh, common things which we come across on daily basis when it comes to web application so we'll just uh, cover some of the the known uh, 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 stuffs which we uh, come across on daily basis so the first one is uh, i mean the, the most common uh, threats that we see so uh, the first one is like a cross site scripting so it's like uh, the parameter entered into the web form is processed by the web application and the correct uh, combination of variables can result into an arbitrary command execution so this um, the countermeasures can be like uh, uh, using the query strings and form fields and hidden fields and validating the cookies so uh, yeah, the, the, these are the, the countermeasures for cross site scripting. And uh, when the next one, it will be like SQL injection. Uh, we, have, we have a detailed uh, video on the in our previous session, uh, session where uh, SQL injection is fully covered, where inserting the SQL commands into your URL to get the database server to the dump, uh, alter, or delete, or create any information in the database. So, and the, one of the top countermeasure is to like validate the user inputs and sanitize the uh, user data, user input. And also we have the similar to, uh, um, and, and we have like a command line injection attacks. So the, here the actor inserts the program commands into the web form. So we mainly uh, uh, the most common ones is like the netcat using the, uh, gaining the reverse shell uh, of a server using the web access. And here um, uh, the countermeasure should be like uh, to, mainly to have the um, input validation at the first place. Along with that, they need to have a, a proper uh, uh, user language specific libraries for the programming. And we have buffer workflow attacks and where there is a huge amount of data sent uh, to the web application through the web form to execute the commands. And here uh, again, uh, the, the basic fund is to like uh, the validate the user input length and perform the bounce checking. And we have the another uh, great attacks like uh, the session hijacking, the, where the session uh, the hacker tried to uh, try to steal the cookies uh, cookies of a session uh, which is uh, which has been authenticated. So here uh, we need to ensure that the uh, the, the connection is encrypted using the SSL handshake. And, uh, and also like the, the complete traffic uh, if not SSL and check ensure that the the services are over the uh, the private network which cannot be accessed outside so that's, that's the one uh, other countermeasures that should be uh, on the priority list 
and if you look at the last attack uh, the directory traversal so this is the most commonly seen on nowadays where uh, uh, people people can easily access the what is there at the etc password level or other any other uh, de uh, default paths of a linux uh, server or it could be any other system so here a hacker just uh, uh, simply browses through the folders on a system via web browser or a windows explorer so he finds to know that uh, Okay, uh, uh, it, it may not be having uh, the the login details stored on the server, but at least uh, the attacker can get to know uh, what the website is having and what are the details it has been storing. So this is one of the uh, the important attack that one should take care so that uh, there is no confidential data is being disclosed, and uh, we need to ensure that. Uh, mm, the proper right access, uh, reader right access to be uh, defined for the will uh, traveling through the private folders of a web server and uh, we need to ensure that the, the proper patches are in place and hard fixes are in place each time. Yeah, so this is with respect to web application uh, hacking. So here may, we mainly covered uh, what is web application and what is web server and uh, how web application works and how the web server works. What are the common uh, attacks that we come across on a daily basis? What are the countermeasures and what are the mitigation uh, hardening methods that we have covered? So thank you guys. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. We'll soon come up with uh, the next video on the channel.